well, I, I got excited and I got so excited. Well, there was a flood down there and I couldn't control it. It was this force of passion, this river of life just flooded right out of me, right through my panties, right onto the car seat of his new white Chevy Bel Air. It was pee and it was smelly. Well, uh, frankly, I didn't smell anything, but he said, Andy said, that it smelled like sour milk and it was staining his car seat. I was a stinky, weird girl, he said. Well, I, I tried to explain to him that his kiss caught me off guard, that normally I wasn't like this. And I tried wiping the flood up with my dress. Oh, it was a... It was a new yellow primrose dress, and it looked ugly we with the flood. We created a map of vagina-friendly cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> welcome New York City! <laughs> vaginas. In fact, <laughs> there is a woman mm, obsessed about a particular word, mm, a pejorative word, used to describe the vagina. Her mission is to reconceive the word. The heart is capable of sacrifice. So is the vagina. The heart is able to forgive and repair. It can change its shape to let us in, and it can expand to let us out. So can the vagina. It can ache for us, and it can stretch for us, and it can die for us. And it can bleed us into this wondrous, difficult world. I was there in the room, and I remember. <laughs> 